Hello friends, in this series of videos in theory of computation, uh, right now we are doing designing of DFA and uh, till this moment we have tried a number of questions but you see every DFA we have designed uh, is only for a specific condition. Now in this video, uh, let me try a DFA which have two or more conditions. Okay. Okay friends, now let's try this question. It says what design a DFA over an alphabet A comma B such that it accepts all the strings starting with A, B and you know uh, mod W is equals to what 3 mod 4. You see there are two conditions involved. First it says what it must start with so and so and second the total uh, length must be fashion of what 3 mod 4. You see separately we have already solved both the questions. We have already solved or designed a DFA uh, you know where the type was starting with so and so and we have also solved this mod pattern. But now we have to solve these questions together. Now that will be interesting part. So you see, <clears throat> that is the first condition and that is the second condition. But please make a note of this that first we have to take this, solve this condition because say starting with so and so and then we can go forward the mod part. So you, what I mean to say is that it is okay that it involve more than one conditions but at an instant of time you are required to concentrate only on one condition at a time so in the starting let me say what it says starting with so and so so again doing what first uh, designing a machine for the smallest string possible so let me take an initial state say what q naught and again how we design it on a let me go to what q1 and on b let me go to what q2 yes or no yes because you see uh, it says end it means what both of the conditions must be satisfied there is no choice at all so let me first say okay i started with av and again you know the system is required to be complete so it's very easy if somebody asks what happens if it starts with b or what happens if after q1 there comes second a then there's no option at all and you have to go to a dead state because you see there's no choice at all it says you have to start with a b so that is where i start with a b and if the first symbol is b and the second symbol is a then again we have already discussed what is a dead state you go to a dead state when you are sure that no matter now what happens next this string is not going to be accepted and that is certainly the case here because it has clearly said that it must starts with a b and if it don't then it must go to a dead state but now you see even after reaching q2 the question is not over why because it says second condition is what uh, the length must be on the pattern 3 mod 4 now you see i have already counted how many symbols two symbols and three mod four again you say what length is acceptable it means what if the total length of the string is divided by four then the remainder must be what three so you can understand three and then seven then eleven and fifteen these symbols are acceptable so one i have counted two i have counted i require one more symbol so let me say either a or b i'll go to what q4 and let me say that this symbol is going to be what accepted you see why we have taken both a or b for this transition because it doesn't matter now what matters whether you start with a or b or not and once you have started with a b now after that whatever comes that is not the matter of concerns because now i'm only only concentrating on what the length and the length must be in the fashion of what 3 mod 4 so fine a and then b and then what a b it is acceptable okay now you see I must concentrate on that point now it says 3 mod 4 so you see uh, I must accept the third state that is okay but the length of the cycle is of what 4 so 1 2 3 so now, now I require more states so let me say I have one more state say q5 and let me go to what a b now I require let me say one more state q6 and you see after three i require to accept what seven so one two three acceptable then four and then five and then one more state i use let me say uh, q7 for a and b and then let me come back to what this q4 so see what will happen now this one two and three it is acceptable after it again three ke baad, four five six seven except and then again eight nine ten eleven except so everything will be accepted so you understand this thing 
uh, one more point i have used other new states uh, to create what uh, to create uh, this cycle can i use those previous states because uh, can i come back from q5 back to what q0 then again it could have also created a cycle of length 4 so please understand uh, that point i have already discussed before in a previous question again i am repeating it what never ever use again reuse that state from which you go to a dead state so q0 and q1 they're very dangerous states why because they have a path using which you can go to a dead state and nobody wants to go to a dead state so never ever use those states back so what i have done uh, instead of using these dead states just we have used uh, this cycle to capture this logic again you understand one more point Q0 and Q1 cannot be used because they are dead state but can I use Q2 certainly yes because Q2 you see it is not a dead state uh, and it, it, it is uh, not a dead state and it is not going to a dead state so what we can use now I am first I have explained the basic logic now let me minimize or let me make it more efficient so it means what there is no need of this state and even to create a cycle of length 4 you can reuse what q2 so you see now this 1 2 and then 3 except again then 4 5 6 and then 7 except and you see this machine also works well so if you want to design a cycle that is okay but one important point you must take care that you cannot use a state uh, from which you are going to a dead state okay now you see one more point let's count how many states are there one two three four five six and seven total seven states are there now let me tell you a trick you see what uh, this was the first condition which says what starting with so and so so in this condition we already know if please remember that if you know you start uh, with some string of length n and you want to design a dfa then the number of states will always be what n plus one we have already solved this structure and second as you know length is remainder mod n for this case the number of state is directly what n which is nothing but the n from which you are dividing now you see uh, according to condition one now the length of this string is two so two plus two is what four states similarly here you divide by four so it also give me what four states so if you design those machines separately you will require four states for this four states for this but again you are de designing them together and and after condition one you are going for what condition two so you can say what condition one plus condition two minus one that is the direct formula so condition one is for what four condition two is also what four and minus one four plus four is eight eight minus one is what seven so how many states are there seven states megan means you can directly solve these questions because in gate most of the time they'll ask what find the number of states so if they are purely concentrating on number of states then there is no requirement to you know design them every time for example if i ask you now apart from saying this if they say starting with a a a and then let me say b b and then a ah, and let me say it says what uh, let me say 13 mod 40 just for example uh, and now they'll ask how many states will be there so you see that is condition one now one two three four five six the length of the substring is six six plus two so how many states are required eight states again you see 13 mod 40 so what is this length cycle of uh, length of cycle 40 and then what minus one now that will be 48 minus one that will be what 47 states you can solve it directly so in case of a complex machine you see they are very frequent questions in gate because they know that might be it is possible you know direct uh, shortcut methods for specific logics so they can merge or they can patch two or three conditions but even you can apply these kind of logics so that is a simple example because here although there were two conditions but at one instance you are concentrating on one point so first condition one and then you go to what condition two but again condition one plus condition two minus one will always give you the number of states possible okay i hope you understand the logic in the next video let me give you a more complex logic where sometimes it is possible that you have more than two condi more than one conditions and both of the conditions are operating at the same time then in that scenario how to solve this questions let's try that okay